Yo guys, what is going on? And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to edit cinematic video in DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to be going over overlays, sound effects, the way you can cut up the video and color grading most importantly. And guys, before we jump into this video, all the sound effects, overlays, and everything I'm going to be using in this video today will be linked down in the first link in the description. Also, just a quick mention, if you want to get mentored by me, then click the second link down below. But without further ado, let's hop into this video right now. Okay, right, so the very first thing you're going to want to do is import your clip that you're going to be using but for me i'm just going to be going through this sd card that i filmed all of my videos on and honestly guys videos is one of the most important things when it comes to these cinematic videos in the first place so if you guys want to make sure you're getting the best quality make sure you guys are filming at the best quality and you guys are getting the best shots and you know what you're doing out there all right guys so once you get all of your clips imported that you want to do the next thing you're going to want to do before we go and start editing you just want to get everything that you're going to use in one spot so for for me i'm going to go grab my audio that i'm going to use so by what i'm doing to even get an audio in the first place is i'm literally just going to grab my phone I'm gonna grab my phone and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to scroll through Instagram until I find audios that I like and that fit the vibe that I'm going for. So actually the first thing you're gonna wanna do is lay out your audio on the timeline and just, just listen to the audio, close your eyes and listen to the audio and then stop it when you feel like the video should stop. So I'm gonna be like this. Okay, so that's where I felt like it should stop. So around 15 seconds, I might make it shorter, but now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna highlight all of my clips here and I'm literally just gonna import them all in at one time and I'm gonna highlight all of them together and I'm gonna link them all and I'm gonna unlink them all. So that way you don't hear the audio. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'll go ahead and hit shift nine and I'm gonna use vertical resolution to change the whole timeline to, you know, 1920 by 1080. Now for me, I have a drone. I have invested into a drone a long while back, so I'm, blessed enough that I have some really sick drone shots for this edit to begin with. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to now go to the color page with these edits and I'm gonna do a simple color grade, right? So I have what's called a power grade that literally goes on top of the video that just takes my footage back to normal. And that's what this power grade looks like. You guys can go ahead and copy it. And then using the LUTs that I actually have in the uh, the packs down below, I'm just gonna go grab like a good, good LUT to fit over all of this. And then since it's a little bright here, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the highlights down like so by about negative, negative 40 and then also turn the gamma down. I'm gonna disable this audio clip and I'm just gonna scrim through this footage just to find a video that I really like. So right here, this is a pretty cool video. All right, now I have another clip that I think looks pretty cool. And I'm probably just gonna go ahead and hit Command C on this one and just do the same exact color grade on this other one so that it, it looks very cohesive. So just getting really cool shots of us riding these jet skis is really what we want. So then this footage is a lot different. It was it was a little brighter when we did this stuff. So we're gonna go to the LUTs and probably do a different LUT like this one. And since it's so powerful, I'm gonna go to the key output and probably just turn it down by a lot. I'm just gonna go to this one and go ahead and just film him doing this. Um, and cut that right there. I'm actually gonna go back into this color grade and I'm gonna go to the balance. I'm gonna go to the color wheels and I'm gonna turn the temp down just a little bit so it's not so warm. And we're gonna go back to the edit page and you can go ahead and do it in a command F to check out the footage to make sure it's all looking crisp. And sometimes you're gonna know that you're gonna need different footage. So like I said, guys, I'm doing the same stuff. Command C, Command v these things and you're gonna get better results because especially for me because there was different times of the day, but Basically like, you know, these footage, this footage is going to look a lot different because it was on a different time throughout the day, which is unfortunate, but you know, we can make it look similar by with some color grading. So, so the next thing I'm going to do is I have this clip in here that I really like, and it's just, it's just basically a cool clip that I found. And what I'm going to do is I'm essentially what I did is I hit command R, which brought up the read time curve controls. And I hit this down arrow right here and I went to change speed and I did 75, or you can make it slower by literally just dragging it out like this. But all I did was just 66 on the speed. And if we play this through, you could kind of see like what it's doing. It's just kind of very slow and I like it. So I'm going to take this clip right here and I'm going to place it right when the beat drops, just like that. And then I'm going to cut it right there. And then I have this really cool video of him coming out of the splash. So just like this, boom, 
And like I said, guys, I'm literally going to make this longer because I feel like it needs to be longer. Because then I'm going to take the best shot that I got yet, which was this cool drone shot. Right when I start turning and I want it to kind of end like this where it turns out like this. And then it ends like that, right? So these are the clips we have so far. Now we're going to match it up to the beat and I'm going to show you a lot more effects that we're going to do. So, so we're going to cut that there because that's when it cuts on the beat. So right here, I hear I hear the don't, don't, don't. So I'm going to cut that there. I'm going to bring this one now. This one I'm going to make a little longer on this little cut right here. You could tell by the waveforms. So we're going to make this one right there. Bring these ones right here. Bring these ones a little closer. What sucks is I really wanted to make this on the beat drop. So we're going to cut that there, right there. Cool. Looks super cool to me. And we have a pretty cool video. Just so far. Just so far. Cool. So now what we're going to do to make this super cinematic is I'm going to go ahead and basically right when the beat drop hits, I'm just going to do a simple overlay with the essential overlays pack in the first link in the description. I'm just going to grab a simple transition and I'm going to go hit screen on this. So now we have a nice little transition. So now if we play this through, we have a transition just like so. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my sound effect pack and I'm going to grab this cassette tape effect right here and I'm going to make it a few frames long. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to fade it out and I'm just going to turn it down by a little bit so that we can hear it. So if we solo this, so it just sounds like that, just like that. Super cool sound effect right there. That'll just elevate your sound effects in general. We might even need to turn it down just a little bit more, honestly, just because it might be a little overpowerful. Maybe just a little bit more, and then we're gonna turn the decibel or the semitones down by two. That way, it makes it a lower sound effect. Then we're just gonna do that same effect for this drone shot, just to make it cohesive. And then to make it a little different, we're gonna hold Option and grab this similar sound effect for this other one. But we're just gonna turn this one's semitones down by three, and make it kind of a different sound effect. Maybe do five. Now guys, to kind of tie this all together, I'm going to do what's a really popular effect right now. So we're going to go to effects and grab what's called an adjustment clip and place it over top on everything. And this option is obviously optional and stuff, but we're going to go to the fusion page. And what we're going to do is we're going to get this square mask and we're just going to make it a square essentially. And then we're going to probably make it just a little bit bigger like so. It's a very like you know, viral effect right now, and then we're just gonna corner the edges just like so. So now if we come through here and we look at this. So then some you're gonna have to adjust, so like this one, I'm gonna have to just turn up a little bit like that. Same with this one, so we're going to have to turn this one up. This one's perfectly fine. So now to do a catchy title to make this viral, we're going to go ahead and grab a text plus, place it over top on everything, and we're going to get the cinematic title called Railway. We're going to title that in, and we're going to do POV, the unemployed friends on Monday. On a random... Monday, we're gonna size it down a little bit. We're gonna go to layout and we're gonna change this to where it's right there. So now if we literally play this through, you have a very viral reel just already.
All right, guys, and I know that was super simple, but to be honest, that right there is going to go viral if you post it on Instagram Reels, depending on your account. And if you continue to post videos just like that, I can guarantee you right now that something like this would go viral if you have the right footage and you add it just like I taught you to. So if you guys enjoyed this video, then please hit the like button and subscribe. It helps my channel out a lot. Go check out my past content because I do post in videos just like this. And also go check out my packs. You see all I just used all these packs in this one video. So go check those all out and I'll see you guys in the next video.